Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and welcome back to Alex Asks. And last time, I asked you lovely lot, what would convince you to get a pre-order for the Nintendo Switch if you didn't have one, and what would convince you to cancel your pre-order if indeed you have made one? Well, after that long question, here's just what a few of you had to say. Gordon66 Junior says, I want a Switch, but I probably won't get one, because of poor battery life since my family is always going on long trips and I would be entertained for like a few hours, but then would be screwed once it dies. Mate, invest. This thing's like 21,000 milliamp hours. Lasts forever. You can even get baby ones. Danny Bishara says, I will cancel my pre-order if the store I ordered it from burnt down. I would then go and pre-order from a less, a less burny place. I've got a feeling unless you went with some sort of independent company, that shouldn't, that shouldn't have an effect. But I know it's a joke, so it's fine. Wiffy5 says, I'm not buying it at launch, but I would buy it sooner if Splatoon 2 was coming sooner. I think that is a fair point. There is, you know, there's not an awful lot coming out on launch day. Um, certainly when it comes to first party titles and things like that. Because you've got Breath of the Wild, you got 1-2 Switch, but apart from that, there's no first party Nintendo titles. Splatoon 2 is coming, so uh, yeah, if you want to wait until then, that makes sense. Cool. Samir Baig says, I'm not buying the Switch. But they say they will if they announce a new Metroid title, PLZ Z Nintendo. It's been seven years. Hasn't it been longer than that? I thought it was much longer than that. Or was that was 2010 when Other M came out? Because I don't really count that. The True Villager says, I'd like pre-installed games so you don't have to spend another 40 to 60 quid to get one, but I'm getting one anyway, so I don't care. Oh, winky face. Yeah, I think a pack-in title would make a big difference, to be honest with you, but they did say that they had to try and keep it at $299 or whatever it is. Uh, whatever it is in America, yeah, it's $299. But I do think with something like 1-2 Switch, just pack it in and just take a bit of a loss with that. I don't see that being too big of a deal, to be honest. I don't see many people buying it otherwise, but who knows? Who knows? I could be terribly, terribly wrong. Luig Me says, a price drop. It's $400 in Canada, and you still need to buy a game with it. Yeah, we're back on the same thing. I actually spoke to somebody about this, the whole sort of Canadian dollar thing, and I, because I pumped all the numbers into Google, and it said that it was 300 US dollars is about 400 Canadian dollars. So I was like, well, what's the big deal? But apparently the wages don't to equate, um, you know, sort of the salary and things like that. So um, it still ends up being essentially 400 US dollars, which is no good. But then I can see why Nintendo would do it that way. It's the same with the pound over here. You know, it's extraordinarily more expensive over here. Well, maybe not extraordinarily, but it's still more expensive over here. Maybe not by a hundred dollars, but you know, it's still more expensive over here. So I do feel your pain, even if it's only a portion of your pain. P Merck says, I already have it pre-ordered with a special edition of Breath of the Wild, but the only thing that would make me cancel my pre-order is if it turns out to really be a toaster that only ducks can enjoy. I've just decided to embrace all these, I suppose, Alex memes? I don't know what else you'd call them. Joshua Oxenford says, got the Switch pre-order, but thinking of cancelling it. Other than Breath of the Wild, which I can get on the Wii U, the only other games that even look remotely good are Octopath Travelers, which I'm sure will be very overpriced for a pixel art RPG, and Mario Odyssey, which isn't out until Xmas. Hold your breath there, young Oxenford man, because there is going to be far more games coming than I think a lot of people think. I'm going to be doing a video soon where we look at every single game that is coming to the Switch that has been like properly announced and stuff like that that, that may even come out tomorrow. That'll be cool. So check that out, because there's a lot. It's like nearly 80. Duff BR or Duff BR, I couldn't decide, says if the Nintendo Switch was cheaper, I would buy, because with $300, I can buy a new PS4 with Uncharted 4 and a game, because apparently Uncharted 4 is not a game. Yes, it is true that you can buy one of the other major consoles with games and stuff like that for the same price, but the thing is, these are much older systems, of course you're going to be. I mean, if you want, you could argue that with $300 you could buy a SNES and 50 games, maybe, if they're really bad. The point is, is that it's new tech. New tech is always more expensive when it first comes out, so that's just how much it is. You might be able to compare it to, oh, I can get this for it. You know, you could buy a vacuum cleaner with that. What's the point of the comparison? And finally, Julian N says, what would stop me from buying it day one is if 1-2 Switch was the only launch game. It looks like fun, but it's not worth 300 plus $50 just to play the game. It always seems to come down to money a lot, doesn't it? But yeah, I think, you know, theoretically, if I were, you know, a standard consumer, I would also cancel it. But considering it's basically my job, I don't really have a choice. I've got my pre-order and uh, I'm gonna have to stick with it because un unless I, I want a different job, which, nah. Massive thanks, of course, to everybody who left a comment. Unfortunately, I can't read all of your comments out because this hair just doesn't do it. 
but you do have a chance to get one of your comments read out in the next episode. And so my question for you this week is, what characters would you like to see make an appearance in Super Mario Odyssey? What characters would you like to appear in Super Mario Odyssey? There's the obviously already confirmed ones like Bowser and Mario, unsurprisingly, and Princess Peach and things like that, but do you want to see Luigi, maybe Waluigi, Wario, some sort of obscure, you know, Super Mario RPG character? Let your minds go run wild. What would you like to see these characters appear as? Actually, yeah, that'd be cool. Also tell me what manner in which you want them to appear. So like as a playable character, maybe as a villain, maybe what they're wearing, because Bowser's in all that cool pimpish stuff and it looks really, really good. So maybe you want to see Waluigi in some of the same stuff? That'd be cool. If anyone's done fan art of that, uh, drop me a link. But whatever your ideas are, just let us know what they are down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you throw that subscribe button out, jump on it, and then get done for subscribe button abuse. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>